It's camouflaged, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think the last time we were in here, there was some some outlying sketches yeah. on the wall, but nothing had been started yet, so it was kind of hard to... Well, it was mostly last time. Was it? Yeah, the top okay. The top but was. some subtle details since then. Yeah, no, they've... It's, yeah. it's awesome. So, anyway... Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I thought we'd talk a little bit just about history of Mars exploration. This is going to be heavy on the modern history of um, with with spacecraft, but we're going to start out at the beginning. Uh, if I can get my clicker to work. If I turn it on. I, I think that helicopter is still working, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll isn't talk about that. Crazy. That that was a success story. Props to the pilots. Oh, oh, oh. And the engineer. Did I say props? To the pilots? Oh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, they uh, they had a little issue with it. Um. <laughs> maybe a month ago, um, where it had taken off and then it immediately landed again and, and they had to do some troubleshooting, but it's, it's back up <coughs> flying again, so. Got our money's worth on that. Well, I guess it doesn't want to cooperate. So, if we go all the way back to Giovanni Schiaparelli, um, he wrote a book about Mars in the late 1800s. Uh, this is one of the illustrations from that book. And he called, you know, the, the little finger-like things that he saw through his telescope, uh, Canale. And uh, for a lot of people, including a gentleman that we'll see in an upcoming slide, um, a lot of people translated that into canals. Well, it really means channels, which would make more sense, but um, he, uh, he called them canale, and uh, it's a great book if you can find it in the library or something. It's, uh, there's, a, there's English translations that are almost as old as the original uh, book. So it's easier to understand in English and Italian, but there's some awesome illustrations that he did. Just does not want to work. All right. So we'll move up um, about 130 years to Percival Lowell. Percival Lowell was, uh, I guess, the most appropriate term would be he was obsessed with Mars. I mean, he was just absolutely obsessed with Mars. He thought there were, you know, little green men. He thought Mars was populated with Martians. Um, and he took that canale as canals. And because, you know, it's been known for a long time that Mars has polar caps and it's north and south pole, just, just like Earth does. Um, and so his, um, let's see if this part works. Okay. Um, so he thought those canals were the channels that had been dug by the Martians to, uh, in the spring when the ice on the poles started to melt would take that water into uh, other parts of the planet uh, to, and he thought the light and dark areas of the planet that are visible are, uh, were uh, vegetation. So that was the telescope that he used to do a lot of his observing with. He was also one of the very first people to actually photograph uh, Mars, uh, one of the really, really good 